Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about earthquakes. Are you ready? Let's begin! In an earthquake, huge masses of rock move beneath the Earth's surface and cause the ground to shake. Earthquakes occur constantly around the world. Often, they are too small for people to feel at all. Sometimes, however, earthquakes cause great losses of life and property. Most earthquakes are caused by changes in the Earth's outermost shell, or crust. The crust is made up of about a dozen rock masses called plates that are constantly moving. In different places, they move apart, collide, or slide past each other. Over time, this movement causes great pressure to build up. When the pressure becomes too great, the rock masses suddenly shift along a crack in the crust called a fault. The shifting rocks release energy in the form of shock waves. The waves spread through the rock in all directions, causing an earthquake. In the most powerful quakes, people thousands of miles away from the center of the quake can feel the ground shake. A small number of earthquakes have other natural or human causes. The movement of molten rock beneath a volcano can trigger an earthquake. The pressure resulting from holding vast amounts of water behind large dams can cause minor quakes. So can underground nuclear explosions and the digging of mines. An earthquake may be powerful enough to change the surface of Earth, thrusting up cliffs and opening huge cracks in the ground. Earthquakes can do great damage to buildings, bridges, railroads, and other structures. The violent shaking during earthquakes often cause other earth movements, such as avalanche. Some quakes that happen in or near oceans cause huge destructive waves called tsunamis to sweep ashore. One great earthquake belt circles the Pacific Ocean along the mountainous west coast of North and South America and runs through the island areas of Asia. It is known as the Ring of Fire. The famous San Andreas Fault of California is part of this belt. Scientists record the shock waves produced in an earthquake with an instrument called a seismograph. They measure the strength of a quake in different ways. The Richter scale measures earthquakes based on the amount of energy they release. The weakest earthquakes are close to zero on the scale, the strongest measure about nine. The Mercalli scale measures the amount of destruction caused by an earthquake. So before we wrap up today's lesson, let's go over the safety tips when experiencing an earthquake. When you feel an unusual shake around, such as the floor trembling or furniture shaking and dropping, it is best that you head to the safest place of your house. The safest place is a room without windows. Examples would be the bathroom or the closet. If possible, take cover under something sturdy, like a heavy table. Drop, cover, and hold on. If you're inside, drop to the ground and take cover under something sturdy like a desk or table if you feel an earthquake. With one hand holding on to the object and with your other arm protecting your head and neck. Stay indoors until the shaking stops and you're sure it's safe to exit. Find an open spot. If you're outside, the safest place in an earthquake is a clear spot away from buildings, trees, street lights, and power lines. Stay there until the shaking stops. 
If in a vehicle, stop. Pull over to a clear location. Stop and stay there with your seatbelt fastened until the shaking stops. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about earthquakes today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!